Okay, so right now I'm going to show you guys some CoverGirl products that I was very disappointed with. Um, I always used to buy CoverGirl uh, when I was younger because my mom bought it and it was cheap. So, yeah, but now that I'm older, I'm noticing the very poor quality of their makeup. And um, I just want to show you guys so that maybe you'll think twice before spending money on it. So I have only a couple items um, because I have been switching out a lot of my CoverGirl makeup and just throwing it away and getting new stuff because I just don't like it anymore. Um, okay, so first of all, CoverGirl changed their looks for their um, foundation and for their powder, their um, the face powder. And I think along with the look change, they also changed the quality of their products. Now this is the new one of the new looks for their foundation and it's um called clean it's just that's just what it's called and it's and um the one the green ones are supposed to be for sensitive skin and i don't remember what the blue ones are for i think it's for oily skin um now this particular color is in ivory which is the 205 and as you can tell it's very light it's actually the lightest color that they have now the consistency is you know pretty much normal with any foundation but um even i've tried a shade darker um, but it does not cover very well at all. Um, I don't know what happened. I used to love their foundation because they had a different bottle and, um, I would get the same one, the ivory, and, um, it covered perfectly, but I think that this particular formula, they're actually making thinner, so it's not covering that well. Like, seriously, I find myself doing my foundation and then doing my powder and then having to, like, put more foundation on top of things to cover it up. It's definitely not good. I do not recommend this. The, I believe these are like five or six dollars. Um, I don't like these anymore. Not good at all. Alright, next is the CoverGirl powder. Now these are the new compacts that they had. They used to have brown ones that had the initials in it and they were more of a kind of oval, um, not oval, but more rounded and just prettier. And I guess these are supposed to be more clean lined or something because um, they're, they're just, they're very, they're terrible. And look, this has already broken like four times and the, this itself is just really loose and it just, it falls off. So these particular things are very, very poor quality made and I, I don't really have anything bad to say about the powder. It's just the packaging itself is, it opens in my in my purse and my makeup bag and then I find powder everywhere and or this this will just fall off whenever see it just, wow look it just fell off right there and look more it just broke off right there that's that's ridiculous <sighs> Ooh, my boyfriend's gonna kill me I just got that on his computer but um yeah <laughs> um okay so the powder and the foundation I'm not using those anymore they are poor quality I don't know what happened when they change the look of them, they just change the quality, and I really don't like it. Um, next is their mascara. Now, a lot of you are using the Lash Blast mascara and the big chunky tubes, and that's fine. I don't, the ones that are more expensive, I actually like, but this one I've been using, which is Professional Super Thick Lash Mascara, um, comes in this pink tube. It's, the first time I bought it, I loved it. I thought it was just the best mascara ever and it was only $3.75 which was also a good deal but what I noticed is the brush gets a lot of the stuff on it now this one is actually a new one so it doesn't have as much on it but my old one which I can't find was just caked in there and it, it just it was really really nasty when I went to put it on and it you use these up a lot now I only put one coat of mascara on a day and I'm good for the rest of the day. And even with one coat a day, these last maybe three weeks, maybe a month. I just, I found myself buying these again and again because they kept running out. But, so yeah, I'm not too pleased with this. If you just want something cheap, it'll work for like the first couple weeks, but then after that, it, it's terrible. Um, and then the last thing I have to complain about, about CoverGirl, which seems to be all I'm doing, I'm sorry, um, is the Outlast Lip Stain. I have this one in 430, which I'm not really sure what color that is, but I'm pretty sure it was like a strawberry or something. And um, 
it smells good. Like, it smells very fruity, which is nice. I like my lip color to smell good. But the only thing I have to say about this is you put it on. Yes, it's Outlast lip stain. It stays on for a while. And the only thing I don't like, though, is after a few hours, um, because I actually wore this to a party, and it had very, it you know, made my lips very red, which was cute, and I liked it. It worked for my makeup. But after a few hours, there was, like, patches where it had worn off and so there were patches of my lip color and then red and it looked really really nasty so I had to keep up reapplying and reapplying and reapplying and it just kept it was so gross I did not like this so if you want to wear this for like just a video for your lips to look red and cute um, for you know like the five or six minutes the video is that's fine but I do not recommend wearing this out for like a you know night on the town or something because you will have to keep reapplying it and it will keep fading off in patches and it's really gross. So that's what I have to say about CoverGirl. I'm going to have to try and find a new makeup brand that is cheap but still good quality. Um, I do not recommend CoverGirl, at least these four products to you guys because they're just not good. So if you guys have any comments about any other CoverGirl products that you like me to review or any that you have reviewed or they're bad or they're good leave a comment below and um, tell me and tell me what you guys think about these products tell me if you like them maybe I just had some faulty products I guess um, you know tell me what you guys think so that was it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be having more coming soon don't forget to subscribe up there I think it's up there somewhere up there and um, as always, don't forget to comment, rate, all that good stuff, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.